Dundalk TV is with John Melzer and he is in my neighborhood and John does uh, all kinds of cleaning in Dundalk. He's uh, one of the premier cleaners in the area. So I um, was talking to him earlier today about uh, newspapers in, in the neighborhood and uh, here's one here and we're going to take a little walk through the neighborhood and see what kind of, I want to show John the kind of trash we have um, going on here. Um, there's a telephone book right here in the gutter. Uh, also a um, plastic bottle and as we go a little bit further the sun papers just pile up we have two houses that are vacant here and somehow or another the uh, guy delivering the papers or gal um, just can't seem to figure out that no one's there and um, just it makes a big mess in our neighborhood so uh, I actually uh, didn't clean these up at this point in time yet just so to make this video to make the point about how bad things are in our community and, and what's going on. I live on Dunhaven Road, right off of Dundalk Avenue, and in the distance there is Dundalk Avenue. So I had counted nine papers here this morning and um, uh, 13 papers all together. So, um, so we have a lot of trash here. People just walk along. They throw bottles and break them, which uh, makes it bad on my pet because I have to be worried about him all the time with uh, cutting his paws also worried about the local kids stepping on the bottles and don't want that to happen. Now on the other side of Dundalk Avenue, we're burning uh, road uh, goes down uh, towards the um, Key Bridge. There's a lot of trash on the other side of the road too, so people aren't taking the concern they need to. So um, I had a con uh, discussion with you earlier today, John. Is this uh, anything out of the ordinary for you to see in, in anyone's neighborhood when you're out cleaning up? No, these this, these uh, these papers are really a major issue. That the plastic bags that you see over there. The I, I was just coming over his house and I passed a bus stop down here across from a, a shopping center. Anywhere around your shopping centers are filthy. They'll they'll clean the cement part, but they won't won't step onto the grass to clean. It's 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 really a problem. It's really an issue. And you mentioned pizza flyers. I see a lot of those earlier, and I see a lot of those laying around too. And some reason or another, right here on this corner, um, uh, there's a bottle right there. I don't know if you can see it on the video right now, but I I see it. Um, uh, people just the guy whoever or gal again, um, whoever pulls up here on the corner, just thinks it's convenient to clean their car out and throw the stuff right there on the corner. Um, so um, and this creates a big problem. And then. Uh, Someone like John uh, comes and uh, cleans it up. Well, he's got stuff in his hands already. And then um, John uh, John Long also does uh, great work uh, along with uh, John. They both work together in the area, cleaning up with a lot of other wonderful volunteers. And uh, I do what I can in my uh, community. I can't wait to, we're working on getting some cans out here to try to help the problem out. I can't wait to have a can down here so when I walk down, it's very convenient for me to just pick the stuff up and put it in. Uh, that's if someone's too daggone lazy to put it in the can themselves. So. Yes, all the, all the bus stops need cans, uh, at least in certain areas. And then they gotta be empty. Somebody has to empty them. I worked for General Motors for years. I went down Holliburt Avenue. I saw cans all the time. They will use the cans at the bus stops. But if you look on Dundalk Avenue, nobody empties them. And when they don't get emptied, trash goes everywhere. We're going to work at getting that straightened out. And we're going to go and look at the cans right now, John. And John wants to uh, go and uh, take us to a couple other spots, too. So uh, well, we're going to have a day of just running around looking at a little bit of uh, uh, some of the, well, actually a lot of debris. It's a lot of debris in a few different places. So um, uh, we'll pick it up uh, in just a few minutes um, as we move down the road. Well, we just picked up a barrel and we're going to take it to John Long and let him see. We're going to start working on it and hopefully we can have some of these cans out on the corner sometime in the near future. Uh, the pile behind North Point, the old McDonald's. What's up? What about it? Sure. Hi, John. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Look at that, man. Every day it's getting bigger now. Let me see what it looks like, John. It's a it's on Old North Point Road. It's uh, it's actually I think that behind the McDonald's. Let me get a little closer. Okay, that has it right there. Okay, John. So uh, where are we at now? We're off of North Point Boulevard by uh, the, the left-hand side of uh, North Point Plaza Flea Market. 
Uh, Brent Cheese Creek runs through here, and uh, yeah, right, right, right below you is where where it actually uh, goes right underneath North Point Road. Yeah, on its way out to Back River. So what do we have here? What are we what are we looking at? Just another uh, bunch of trash all all piled up in here. And also, it has uh, a log jam too. So looks like somebody lost their basketball. Yes, yeah, look and let. When people come and they ride down the roads and they see trash on the sides of the roads and they think, boy, that's bad. Well, get out of your vehicle and look. The trash is 10 times worse over the hill on the, over the side of the road. It's much worse. You just, you just see a little bit on the top of the road. We're behind the flea market and uh, John is showing me how uh, the trash just blows around a little fence they have here. And if they had a fence uh, where it could keep it contained to be a lot easier to um, take care of the trash, but it just blows around the corner, goes down the road, goes into the woods, and as John said, once it, once you get off of the uh, roadway, it is really heavy into the brush and down on the uh, slope. So uh, wants everybody to keep that in mind as well. But uh, then it winds up making its way down to uh, Bread and Cheese Creek too, which is uh, right down at the end of the guardrail here, which is maybe around another 50 feet in front of us. So we'd appreciate everybody's help uh, by stop throwing the trash and cigarette butts all over the place and dumping. Okay, so what do you got, John? See, like when you come back here and look now, you may see eight or ten tires, but once you start picking up tires, there are tires under tires. So if you see eight or ten tires, there's probably 20 tires here. Yeah, well, you have one right behind you. And then a bicycle tire. Yeah. There's always more than meets the eye. Okay, so we're coming down North Point Boulevard, and it's very nice. Uh, we saw somebody put a can out, and there's actually a can on the other side on Old North Point Road we saw. So um, someone has a good idea to put a can out, but unfortunately it's already full, and um, the garbage is starting to overflow. So... Uh, we need more volunteers to come out and uh, help out as uh, we try to get our cans out there on the street. And uh, so anybody who wants a volunteer can call me um, at Dundalk TV at 410-818-9733. That's 410-818-9733. Uh, you can actually help uh, the people from Bread and Cheese Creek uh, do a better job. Type in uh, Bread and Cheese Creek. And, okay. Uh, it'll show you a lot of this. Okay. And then you come out and help John out. He's doing, he's out here six, seven days a week cleaning up, so he could use some help.